Hi friends and welcome back. It's me, Miss Haley. Today, I would love to invite you to read an ebook with me. Our book today is called Holly Bloom's Garden. It is written by Sarah Ashman and Nancy Parent and illustrated by Lori Mitchell. Holly Bloom felt as grouchy as the thorns on a rose bush. No matter how hard she tried, she could not make her flowers grow. Don't worry, sweet pea, said Holly's mother, Iris. Some people, just like flowers, take longer to bloom. They are called late bloomers. Keep trying. Your flowers will grow soon. Oh, I see Holly in her hat. I see that her arms are crossed and she's looking down. I also see her father painting and I see her mother cutting some beautiful red roses. I see her mother planting some flowers into a pot. Holly is leaning against the potting bench, watching her mother. I will plant a garden for you, said Holly's older sister, Rosie, who had not been a late bloomer. Rosie's flowers were famous all over town, but Holly did not want Rosie to plant a garden for her. She wanted to plant her own. What I really need, thought Holly, is a green thumb. Mama says people who can grow flowers have a green thumb. So Holly took out her paint box. She mixed together some blue and yellow paint and gave herself a green thumb. I see Holly painting her thumb green in hopes to grow beautiful flowers just like her family. Off she goes. She's leaping off the front porch with her green thumb, her sun hat, and hand shovel. Then she went outside and planted some new flowers. But Holly's green thumb disappeared before dinner. Her dahlias drooped before she had even had dessert. Oh, I see she's having dessert. Some chocolate ice cream. Hmm, maybe fertilizer would help, thought Holly. But fertilizer tickled Holly's nose and her sneezes blew it all away. Here she is trying to add fertilizer to her flowers. Oh, I see her next to her big brother, next to the shed. And she's holding some tools Her brother, Bud, said, you need to find the right tools. So Holly looked in the shed. First, Holly tried a hoe. She worked until she made a perfect patch of dirt. Then she dug some holes in the ground with a trawl. Each hole she put a flower. Holly filled a watering can and carried it back to the garden to give her flowers a little drink. But the watering can was so heavy that she accidentally soaked them. Here she is holding the heavy watering can, but she accidentally gave them too much. 
In the morning, Holly ran to the window to check on her flowers. Her daisies had wilted and her petunias looked pathetic. <sighs> I guess I didn't use the right tools, thought Holly, going back to the shed. What's up, ladybug? asked Holly's father, Harold. I want to grow flowers like mom and bud and Rosie, Holly said, but I don't have the right tools. Hmm, said her father. There are many different kinds of tools. You just need to find the ones that work for you. Holly nodded, but she didn't know what other tools to try. Hmm, she's sitting on the step to the shed with her hands on her face, thinking what other tools could she use? Holly walked sadly through the garden, looking at all the beautiful flowers that her mother, sister and brother had planted. Their blue bells were brilliant. Their gardenias were glorious and their daffodils were simply dazzling. Wherever Holly Bloom looked, someone else's flowers were blooming. That night, Holly's parents tucked her into bed. Good night, Ladybug, said her father, kissing Holly on her forehead. Sleep tight, sweet pea, said her mother, turning off the light. But Holly wasn't ready to sleep. She had thought of a way to make her garden grow. When everyone had gone to bed, Holly tiptoed into her father's art studio. His brushes and paint tubes were all over the room, but Holly found what she needed in the special corner her father had made for her. Holly worked in the studio all night without making any noise. In the morning, Holly's father put breakfast on the table while her mother arranged some snapdragons in a vase. Wake up, Holly, time for breakfast, her father called. Holly's muffled voice came from inside her father's studio. Just a minute, she replied. Holly, cried her mother, were you in there all night? Come on out, ladybug, said her father with a grin. Wow. Look at all the colors. I see orange, I see red, blue, yellow, pink, purple flowers. Slowly the door opened and there stood Holly Bloom surrounded by flowers. Oh, what a garden she had grown. There were tissue paper tulips, crepe paper chrysanthemums, and pipe cleaner pansies. Her flowers were made of paper and paste and sparkles and paint. They were full of life and guaranteed to last forever. And the best of all, they were grown especially like Holly Bloom. The end. Thank you so much for reading Holly Bloom's Garden with me today, friends. Even though she listened to her family's suggestions, she just still could not figure a way out to grow flowers just like her family. But instead, Holly had her own way of creating her own garden. Have a good day, friends.